I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of uh, solid waste management. In this session, I am going to discuss e-waste scenario in India and globe. E-waste is nothing but electronic waste. So as you can observe, the different diagram you can observe. See, uh, there is a monitor. It's a CRT monitor, of course. And there is a printer. And uh, there are a lot of debris which are related to electronic gadgets, especially computers. Here also you can see different type of electrical devices and even electronic devices. So there are so many uh, like uh, debris of uh, like uh, after the aging, obviously uh, electronic uh, waste become like uh, it become as a waste. So that those kind of waste are categorized into e-waste, especially after three to four years, your mobile phone. Uh, then definitely that become, you will not ready for repair. Okay, you will not ready for maintenance. Definitely you will go for new mobile phone because technology is upgrading day by day. Even your laptop, if you consider your laptop. So definitely after five years, obviously uh, you need to, you want to upgrade and you, you are not interested to repair it. You are, you are not interested for maintain it and use. So because of this uh, set, uh, scenario, definitely uh, e-waste are producing uh, more. Even we can say that electronic components, aging of equipment you might have studied in your uh, basic electronics. So, uh, because of these uh, kind of fa fact, e-waste are increasing day by day. Even globalization, okay, because uh, now transfer of goods and services from uh, uh, country to country, boundary is not a matter actually, okay. Because of that, e-waste production is very high. If I talk about India, obviously the e-waste generation is very much high because India is very good market. Even uh, globe, especially if I talk about globe, China, US, okay, most of the countries are uh, very uh, moving further in the domain of e-waste generation. Yes, of course, we'll have a discussion about e-waste scenario. So moving on to the discussion. Yes. So what is e-waste I have discussed in brief? Now we'll see that e electronic industry is world largest and fastest growing manufacturing industry, of course, because technology is upgrading day by day. Automation, everywhere automation is moving very fastly. The growing quantity of e-waste from electronic industry is beginning to re re uh, reach distress and uh, uh, we can say that uh, disastrous proportions. Electronic waste or e-waste comprises of like uh, outdated or old end of life electronic appliances such as computers, laptops, televisions, DVD players, refrigerators, freezers, air conditioning units, mobile phone, MP3 player, etc. Because most of the plastics are made up of with the thermosetting plastic. Once it is uh, like uh, settled, we cannot change, uh, we cannot regain its shape. Okay. So that thermoset, most of the uh, like plastics are belong to thermosetting plastic, especially for e-waste. Bakelite, you might have heard about chemistry, bakelite. Uh, then e-waste contain uh, hazardous constituents that negatively impacting on the health and environment. So there are various organizations uh, to control the e-waste production. Still, there are some improvement needed across uh, India and the globe. There are so many organizations which is actually ready for uh, controlling uh, the e-waste production. Still, uh, there are more improvement is uh, essential. Otherwise, we cannot control e-waste. See, uh, most of the activities aside right from collection, transportation, segregation, etc., done by unorganized sector manually because uh, if you do in an un 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 unorganized sector like uh, we we are not able to get the proper data that's a major issue so being a rich source of reusable and precious material e-waste is good source for revenue generation yes of course i would like to say one more point it is one of the best source of generating revenue like uh, some component if you talk about uh, your uh, like uh, cpu there may be a cooling fan that can be utilized for some other purpose if I go for like a capacitors, that can be utilized for some other circuits, correct? So if I talk about our country, most of the uh, operations related to e-waste such as uh, co collections, segregation, recycling are performed manually. That is a uh, very unfortunate thing. It would have been done automated, automated manner. Now, if we go for like a, a Western market, everything is automated. But still, uh, uh, there are the system has to be improved. In the absence of adequate technology, the equipment, most of the techniques used for recycling e-waste are very low and dangerous. Because still there are some improvement required. That is a scenario. I would like to add this point. Okay. Still there are progress in manual, but uh, the improvement is uh, needed in the case of e-waste scenario. 
now let's talk compare with the uh, like a global market uh, india is the third largest electronic waste producer because india is very good market most of the gadgets are flowing uh, time to time so uh, the, the statistic says that 2 million tons of e waste are generated per year that is approximate count but uh, we can anticipate in that particular uh, amount of waste which is generated per annum uh, annually uh, computer devices uh, around almost 70 percent of the computer uh, devices and 12 percentage come from telecom sector like a mobile phone gadgets etc eight percentage from the biomedical equipments biomedical instruments seven percentage from the electric equipments okay in, the, in private sector almost 70 uh, the 75 percent of the waste is belong to e-waste only private sector and uh, the contribution of individual household is being around 16 percentage okay uh, so the statistics says that uh, 1.975 million tons of e-waste in 2026 uh, also approximately 1.5 kilogram of e-waste per capita that is the statistics in the year of 2016 okay still if you consider the statistics of uh, preceding years we will come to know the reality so we can say that india is actually one of the third largest produ producer of e-waste because very india is very good market yes of course now we can uh, talk about uh, the different uh, like a scenario city wise e waste production you can observe like mumbai if i talk about mumbai uh, most of the plastic industries most of the electronic industries are focused at mumbai so the, definitely mumbai is actually one of the uh, large one of the industrial capital one we can say one of the industrial capital of india so uh, the mumbai contributes highest e waste production even uh, delhi bangalore uh, all those states also contributing very uh, high amount of e-waste production. As you can observe, the graph is declining. Uh, so, Pune is moderate, moderate amount of e-waste producer. So, still there are different states which we could not include in this graph. So, regarding the state-wise, if I talk about city-wise, we are familiar. Now, we will discuss about the state-wise. So, Maharashtra contribute highest amount of e-waste production. Okay. Uh, that is another remarkable fact. Even uh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, those states also contributing the high, the big, uh, the bulk amount of e-waste pro e waste production because most of the industries are focusing in that particular uh, territory. Okay. Now regarding the uh, like a different uh, zone, uh, as we can see, western zone has the highest contribution of e waste production. Where, like, uh, if I talk about the eastern zone, that is uh, less comparative to compared to other uh, zones, especially in the north western northeast side, it is somewhat less. Okay, the production of e waste is somewhat less if I talk about the north northeast side. All right, so this is actually the e waste generation in different zones. That is another remarkable fact. Now we will see the global e waste scenario. Let us see the we already studied about Indian waste and Indian e waste scenario. Now we'll have a quick glance or we will have a skeleton of uh, e waste scenario in the world. As you can observe, Asia, the continent Asia is the largest e waste producer. Of course, India is also belong, belong to uh, the Asia continent. Now, year by year statistics we will see. First, we will see in the year of 2016, almost 18.2 uh, million tons of waste uh, had been produced. In the year of 2019, the statistic says that 53.6 million tons of e-waste had produced. When it comes to 2021, uh, around 57.5, 57.5, 57.5 uh, million tons of e-waste uh, was generated. When it comes to 2022, uh, it is uh, around 59.4 million tons. As you can observe, almost the growth rate, rate of 3.4% uh, percentage of e-waste production. So that is a huge growth rate. Still, the graph is uh, in the like ramping up. Right. So it's a challenging issue. How to manage with the e-waste, of course. So moving on to the further discussion. Uh, like uh, China, the US and India are the most e-waste producer. China, among China number one, US number two, where India belongs to number three. Only 17.4% of e-waste is not to be collected properly and recycled. Unfortunately, what about remaining uh, 82? 82 percent of the waste still, uh, most of the things are doing by unauthorized organization like uh, non-registered, that's another issue. Because we don't have proper data. 
Uh, there is over 374 million ton unrecycled unrecycled waste on earth uh, is produced in the year of 2023 that is another shocking fact so some but some if you talk about some uh, countries especially ireland norway estonia they are actually doing really great in the domain of uh, recycling of e waste they are actually uh, doing good in the uh, domain of or in the uh, we can, as we can say, uh, they are doing really great in the domain of recycling. Okay, recycling of e-waste. Mm -hmm. These are the few important facts related to e-waste scenario in the globe. So moving on to the further discussion. Yeah, as you can observe, some statistics says that the production of China, India. So China is having the highest, uh, like uh, uh, you can see, the China is one of the highest e-waste producer. But recy recycling rate is compa uh, comparatively less. If I talk about like the UK, uh, then uh, like uh, France, the recycling rate is a little bit high. But uh, in our country, recycling rate is very less. India, uh, it is very less only. Fine. Still, there are some improvements necessary. In this, in this session, we discussed about what is e-waste. Okay. After the usage of electronic gadgets, electronic equipments, uh, you, are, you are going to dispose the particular the debris or the entire item in the particular area that becomes like an e-waste. It is basically uh, thermosetting plastic, main component is thermosetting plastic which we cannot uh, remold or reshape. So in uh, India is the third largest producer of e-waste and we found that Maharashtra uh, is actually top in e-waste production uh, in India. Uh, even uh, Ch uh, China, uh, US, uh, India are the most uh, most three large producer of e-waste and even Asia has dominating, Asia is dominating highest uh, continent uh, which produces e-waste. These are the important facts regarding the e-waste. Still, we found that there are some improvement for uh, recycling of e-waste that is necessary. Else, uh, we'll be moving into that dangerous condition. Okay, it, will, it is severely impacting not only earth, uh, not only uh, health, but the environment as well. Let me know if you have any queries. Thank you for so much for watching this video. This question can be asked as a essay type question which carries the 10 marks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy